Hey, this is Matt O'Leary, and this is the third video of three of what I'm listening to videos for the summer of 2016. I already did a video on my favorite Neo Psych albums of the summer, and then I did one um, that was just spanning most genres. This one is focused on instrumental albums, so non-vocal albums from the summer. And I gotta say, it's probably my favorite of the three, just because um, there are some really unknown artists in here, ones that you're not going to see on the main kind of Twitter circuit um, as far as their new releases go, So, um, especially towards the end of the video. So stick around for that and let's get it going. First up is a truly epic ambient folk album called Modern Country by William Tyler. And unlike a lot of other modern country, it's not bound to reflection or glorifying the past. And in that way it's a major statement. Country music can be pushed forward while still celebrating and honoring the simple times, the roots. I love the song Gone Clear with its dramatic shift into that dazzling bell section with those repeated hammer-ons. It's really great when a song can just surprise you with a sound you haven't even considered up to that point. Now we got some more folk guitar coming up with Moon Bros and their album These Stars. Moon Bros is made up of some members of Tortoise and then uh, Matt Lukes or Matt Lux. Um, who helped on some Iron and Wine records. The song El Conejo is a very soothing and gentle little guitar track. It's like a less aggressive version of what Riley Walker does. Next up we're moving away from guitar driven music to something definitely more jazzy with an album and band that are a little better known at least in the alternative music world. Um, and it's Bad Bad Not Good with their fourth record called For. Uh, this was Vinyl Me Please's record of the month for July. There was a lot of hype around this record and I think it was definitely well deserved and well earned based on their three previous records. Uh, which I love for different reasons. This band just, Bad Band Not Good, they just put a twist and totally change what it means to be a jazz band in 2016. And this one's not as adventurous maybe as the first three, but the song Confessions Part 2 is an adventure. Sections are just constantly changing really subtly to convey different moods within the same beat or bass line. The songs can go from this fluffy disco to menacing and marauding between just two or four measures. Next we got some Balearic electronic music from the little island of Ibiza in the Mediterranean Sea. It's Mark Barrett with Sketches from an Island 2. This is easy listening that evokes the tropical spirit of the island without leaving itself open to slams for a Appropriation. And yeah, a, a lot less animal noises than on the first installment of this record. A lot of this thing is, is very ambient, but without that kind of thick tension that's associated with that genre. The song Driving to Cat Negret's probably my favorite, with its strong chord changes and a high melody that reminds me of some Chris Cohen song that I can't put a finger on. The song Distant Storms at Sea is a really convincing attempt to conjure sort of the arrhythmic nature of rainfall. You got multiple sounds that all kind of bring rain to mind, like the water as it lands is hitting different objects and textures. All right, we're tripling the intensity for this next album. It's the five-piece math rock band from Hong Kong called TF, TFVSJS, and the album's called Zoi. This is mixed by Mino Takaki, who worked on the Toe albums. Um, some of the early Toe albums. This is definitely heavier and more dynamically varied than those albums. The song And Paint Our Pupils With Ashes is just so tight and technical, it almost sounds like an 8-bit Game Boy soundtrack. Some absolutely savage drumming and guitar licks panning back and forth on this thing. About halfway through there's this build that's just pure majesty. The first three songs from this album are available for free on Bandcamp. Uh, but just go ahead and get it if you like anything from Chan to Animals as Leaders. More math rock up next, this time from Japan. Uh, it's a band Light with a, a split they've got going with Mouse on the Keys, which is available on vinyl right now from uh, Top Shelf Records. Their last album, Installation, uh, which I've got right here, is, is one I just picked up on a whim. Uh, this was just a completely random purchase and probably something I'd only run across if uh, had this collection, so that's kind of the perk of having it, is that every once in a while I'll just pick up a random record, and sometimes it turns out really great. This is one of those times. I think this album's on Spotify, so go check it out. I haven't heard all this split yet with Mouse on the Keys, but the song Else has got a killer groove. 
I don't think these guys are going to be touring anywhere near me, but I'd love to see them live. And they got a new record coming out in November, so super stoked. On to the best prog metal one piece on the internet. It's Pliny with his debut full-length Handmade Cities. This guy's trademark sound isn't at all emotionally disconnected like some other music within this technical instrumental metal genre. It's going straight for the heart. You know, it, it, it's wowing you with compositional nuance rather than just mad chops, which he definitely has. Inhale is a track that has the most velvety lows and enthralling highs on the entire record. You know, this guy is the new standard for bedroom musicians. Check it out if you like bands like uh, Polyphia or Polyphia or Polyphia or or wailing guitarists like Steve Vai or Joe Satriani. Last up, but not least, not least, is House of Water's debut self-titled album, House of Water's House of Water's House of Water's. This three-piece is like nothing I've ever heard before. They got a hammered dulcimer, they got a six or seven string bass, and they got a cajon. That's it, and they create this massive, just gorgeous jazz fusion sound. It's mind-blowing musicianship, but still tonal, still digestible, still melodic. Seriously, this band is find of the year for me. Uh, yeah, I just, I'd give them that award right now. And interestingly, but not surprisingly, this album's out on Ground Up Records, which is Snarky Puppy's label. All right, yeah, that's... That's a lot of instrumental albums, so so get to work. Get to work. Go listen.